Hi, welcome to today's video and have I got a video for you today? Yes! So we've covered um, a woman throwing soup at the manager's face because it was too hot. Uh, she just wanted cold soup, I guess. But anyway, we did that and now we're back with another similar-ish video. So we've got a guy who assaults... That's right, a man has assaulted a worker over a smoothie. Very sad. Um, yeah, so obviously he was really attached to the smoothie and something probably went wrong so he came back and assaulted the worker and uh, said a couple things too I believe. I haven't watched the video yet, this is just what I know of and now we're gonna watch it together and break it down and truly understand what happened, why he was in love with the smoothie. Please don't yell at us. Yeah. Don't videotape me. You have no room to yell at us. I wanna speak to the fucking person who made this drink. Is that you? No, well, it wasn't me. We don't know me. who made it, so... You don't know who made it? There's four of us here, so we obviously don't know. Fucking Please. stupid, fucking ignorant high school kids. Okay, bye. I want to speak to the fucking... Bye, man. okay, you can call corporate or whatever you want. Goodbye. Gianna, stop. You're on camera. You're on camera. You're on camera. No, I don't care. I'm sorry, all of this rage is from a smoothie? What? <laughs> Maybe he got the smoothie for his wife and he went to give it to her only to find her in bed with his father. I don't know. Give it to me right now. Yeah. What? Oh, I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police. Why would he do that? Wait. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I want the fucking telephone. Get the fuck right out. Now. I want out. the telephone. I'm shut the fuck up. You shut up. Get out. You fucking can call corporate right now. Bye. You're a fucking idiot. Okay, good for you. Bye. Damn, look at her go. <laughs> Love to see it. She is mm, feeling it. Yeah, smack him. Beat his ass. Get over the counter and beat his ass. Who are you? you fucking immigrant loser. What? Fuck you! Get the, Get the fuck, fuck out. out! Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! You're going to jail! You're going to jail, you racist piece of shit! <laughs> Bro, call the police now. I want the telephone number. Why people are so dumb? <laughs> Stupid immigrant loser, he calls her at one point. Great job, sir. You've really ended her with that one. She's been finished. And then, well, he just thought he just waltz into the back and get the phone number. Like, yeah, they definitely let you in. They'd be like, well, you called us an immigrant loser, but you want our phone number? Customers always are right. C come up ahead, sir. Come on in. We'll give you everything you need and more. Rosie, somebody's in here and he's freaking cursing us out. And he threw, he threw a smoothie at us. He's threatening us. He tried to come behind this door. Um, we're calling the cops. He's like, he won't leave. He keeps screaming at us. He won't leave. She's checking out her hoodie. He's like, I almost got he, over it. He called Deanna an immigrant. And I rec I'm recording it all, so I'm calling the cops. Don't you worry. Yeah, he is. He threw the smoothie at us. He's trying to jump over the thing. He's trying to threaten us. I'm sorry. How do you even begin to break it down? What do you even say? Like, does the whole customer is always right thing apply here? What happened with him, though? It's an epic meltdown in a smoothie store as a dad claims he was given a drink with peanuts in it when his son has a peanut allergy. Oh, no. Oh, no. It was just, no. The customer claims when right. he ordered the smoothie, he told okay. the staff that his son is allergic to peanuts. But he says when his son drank the smoothie at home, he had a life-threatening allergic reaction. 911 was called, and he had to be rushed to the hospital. My son's having an allergic reaction. We gave him the EpiPen. So, I mean, like, dude, yeah, I mean, your son's alive, right? Like, the... Like the Cool, like, okay, it was a mistake. Obviously, you don't come back to the store and start threatening the people in the store and start assaulting them for a shake. Dude, calm down, get a new shake, right? Everything can, it's fine. He also right. yells a racially charged slur. Immigrant loser. What? <laughs> I love how, like, they're like a racially charged slur. 
And then he says, immigrant loser. Ayanazo turned himself in oh, and no. was charged with intimidation based on bigotry oh, no. and breach of the peace. Well, and get this, he's a financial advisor at Merrill Lynch. Yeah. Cool. Financial advisors do have it rough, so it's understandable where all that hate has come from. So when he came in, he ordered a peanut smoothie, but he did ask for no peanut butter. It yeah. is kind of weird to order a peanut butter smoothie. Yeah, and for someone who has such butter. a severe allergic reaction, you know? So he's ordered a peanut smoothie, but he doesn't want peanuts in it. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. I, all the time when I go get like a chocolate milkshake, I specifically ask them to remove the chocolate. It's life-threatening for me, but I want the chocolate milkshake, but I just don't want the chocolate. Like, the, like there's a little, there's like that one point in the middle, like a little area there, that's where I want them to focus on. Yeah. What was he thinking? My actions at the smoothie store were wrong, and I deeply mm -hmm. regret that. Of course. I feel terrible that I lost my composure so completely. It's a great, great apology, sir. Give him the smoothie. Give him all the smoothies he needs. Release him from prison if he's in there. He's done no wrong in my books. Now that he's apologized with those, you know, such powerful words, I am convinced that he needs to be freed. My mind with fear for his stricken son. <laughs> I love how they say like, oh, you know, he was uh, pretty, uh, he, he was scared for like his, his son. And then the next clip they show is just him eating the smoothie at the, the teenager. Said in a statement that the company does not tolerate behavior of this yeah. kind, adding that the father is no longer employed. Oh, no. Firm. Oh, no. What has happened? So let's recap, right? Let's recap. A kid has a severe allergic reaction gets stabbed by an EpiPen because of that. A father assaults a worker, a teenage worker, by throwing a smoothie at her. You know, goes for the headshot, straight in the head, plus 50 damage. Calls her a pretty, you know, lots of racist things, such as... Immigrant loser. And as a result of that, he turned himself in. He apologizes with the greatest, greatest apology line the world has ever seen. I feel terrible that I lost my composure so completely. But that's not enough as he also loses his job as a financial advisor. All of that, all of it, is all because of a smoothie. Because he wanted a peanut smoothie without the peanuts. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. <laughs> But now you know the smoothie story, so if you've enjoyed the smoothie story, because I've enjoyed telling you the smoothie story, subscribe. You see the subscribe button? Smash it, smash the like button. If you want to type something down there, type it and I will read it because I am nice like that. Well, I'm at 333 subscribers and I'd like to take it to 333 million subscribers by the end of today. So only you can make that possible. Thank you very much for doing that, if you've subscribed, which I hope you have. Share this with your grandma so she knows what uh, the teenage workers are going through and what not to do when she's in a smoothie store because that's very important. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.